Hi. I think I might have come up with a way to make something, well, some people call it anti-gravity, but I think that freaks a lot of people out. I'm just going to call it a lift assist. And I am going to share it with you because I'm, I'm kind of really focused on some other work. And so I want to give, give this to somebody, many people, however, it could make you very rich. Um, so I'm going to lay it out for you. Uh, I'm working on the uh, Heartfelt Energizer that en enables me to hug people with the flu. I can I can touch my face and my nose and my eyes and my ears and all that, and I don't get the flu. And I think that's important right now that I focus on that to make that available to as many people as possible. But anyway, uh, here's the, this is really amazing, and it's got little parts to it, you know. Um, and I'll, explain, and I'll explain to you really, really simply, and then you can run with it. Static electricity keeps you, you know, like can make your hair go up in the air. And that is anti-gravity. And it turns out that tornadoes have, uh, apparently have a static electricity in them. And I saw, I witnessed it with my eyes, a, a, a train, a whole train laying on its side. After, after Hurricane Michael, and also an IB that was about an inch thick, twisted 180 degrees, and it probably happened in a second because you know a tornado is not going to stay exactly in the same spot, and it, and, and, and so it's using, you know, this is what makes the hair stand up, makes things lighter than grab, you know, lighter than air, so that's that's what uh, anti gravity is. It's, Tesla said it, it was the opposite of gravity, so Tesla's. The one that gave us AC current and all that. Not the current Tesla car, but the original Nikola Tesla. So anyway, but the question is, you know, with the hair, it's very, very light. And so we've got anti-gravity working, but it's so light. And it's like, well, how do you make it strong enough to do something heavier? And I, I think with the demonstrations with the ball, where you put your hand on the ball, they... I think it uses like 100,000, 200,000 volts. So you're talking about, well, what, how are you going to get a billion volts to, to do what you need to do? It, it just becomes un... It's difficult. You can't do it. But we have history. You know, we have the pyramids, perfect precision in place, some of them weighing 15 or 30 tons. Uh, Coral Castle down in Florida, a young man, not a young man, but he was a very small man, I think he weighed about 125 pounds. That may be a few pounds under, but he he moved boulders and rocks, and he had sh carved stones that he put in place, and and uh, that weighed a couple tons. He got a door, a moving stone door, and he he. So we know that this is possible because he couldn't lift it himself, and he didn't have the equipment there that you would normally think of to move these things, and they would show up. So anyway, let me. Without further ado, so how do we increase it? Well, the first thing I want you to look at is the lighter. These lighters work based on. I might. This might be out of fuel, but let me see. Yeah, there you go. That flame comes about because pressure is put on quartz crystal, and and what the, happens is pressure takes the energy of a quartz crystal. A quartz crystal is like got its energy going in all a bunch of different directions. So it's not as strong. But when you do when you put the pressure on it, uh, it it all lines up parallel. And that's key. Because there's parallel energy and then there's transverse energy. And and the transverse energy is what stops things. Parallel is what makes things go. So this so this crystal, it's a tiny crystal, right? And you may, for all of this, depending on what you're lifting, it may require, you know, bigger crystals or several crystals. You can line them up so they're pressing against each other, so that you automatically have have the uh, the effect that you want, where it all lines up. It's enough of a electrical energy to to start a fire. All right. So now the second part of this is uh, you want to have you want to have uh, uh, something like ceramic, because ceramic tunes in the, uh, the 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 energy coming from the quartz crystal, and so it's really flowing. 
it's like tuning in a radio, you know. I think probably in the old radios they had ceramic and, and crystals, you know, the old crystal radio, right? So maybe it wasn't ceramic, I don't know. But so, you know, here's an example of ceramic. You, you, you might need something a lot bigger depending on what it is that you're working with. I, I don't know. So, because you want to get the juice up high enough, and it just depends. You know, it might take for a smaller, you know, maybe 500,000 pounds, it might only take something small. If you want to lift something huge, you might need something twice the size. You'll just have to find that out. Um, but with the tornado, you know, we could see how powerful that could be. And the tornado was not going fast enough to twist it like that, but with the wind. The wind doesn't do that. You, I mean, you can put something in a wind tunnel that fast and it's not going to bend it. Anyway, so um, at least it won't bend it much. Uh, so, so you get the quartz crystal and you have that touching the, uh, I mean, the quartz, uh, here, the quartz crystal here. This is the quartz that you use. You know, it's a clear quartz crystal. And you have it with this somehow. Now, the next key is like the fellow in, in uh, uh, the coral castle and the tornado. What gives it its power? It's, he had a thing there, and we believe they call it the Sweet 16. And it was a rotational device. And we don't know how he used it, but it was rotating. I think he, he was. He was mimicking a tornado, all right? So if you get a high speed one, you know, you could make really high speed. You could probably lift 30 tons and build yourself a pyramid, all right? Just like in Giza. Now, the other thing you might need here, and this is copper wire. These things are all really, really cheap, right? I, I think this might cost $2. And, you know, this costs you about 8 bucks you know, depending on the size. Um, so, um, copper wire. And the way you want this copper wire to work is to double it over. So you take a length and then you fold it in half because that changes the properties. So instead of having from negative to positive or positive to negative, it's going positive and negative in both directions. And then you, you, want, to, you want to braid it you know, like with a pliers or, or use a vise or whatever and braid it. And then you're going to probably want to make it, I've heard, if it's perfectly round, that's that's really, really good. So if it's not rounded, um, it might not work so well or work at all. So, so you know, if you do arts and craftsy type thing, you know, however you do that to make it perfectly round. So you put all these things together and it gives you the, it gives you the energy to uh, to make this happen, you're, use, you're you're what you're doing is you're increasing the static electricity that's coming from the crystal, and so depending on the size of the crystal, how you shape it, could be triangles, uh, and then with the with the ceramic to give it even more efficiency, and the, and the copper as the conductor uh, around there, and then. And just make it. And then what, what you're going to need is that with static electricity, it's sort of like a magnet, you know, it's going to, it's going to fly, right? It's going to fly. And it's hard to control. So you'll just need to put it in a, whatever it is, you know, fasten it to it, and then a container so that you, so that you can maintain uh, control over it. And, and you don't want it to be too strong, otherwise it's going to throw the whole thing over. So it's going to be a matter of, well, I need this size for this job and I need another size for that job. And maybe it could go in cars, you know, in trucks. Um, so instead of buying gas, like I talked to a guy tonight, he drives heavy equipment. I don't know, what did he get? To, uh, he, does they get two miles to the gallon? I, I don't know, or you know, or how many gallons do they run through in, in, in one day? Well, if you had that running to give you your energy, then you wouldn't have to buy fuel. That same thing with your car or, or the truck. And you think of all those freighters, you know, they have the big, the big metal boxes. You could put them in place. I mean, it's, it's there's all kinds of things industrial uses for it. So, uh, I believe that's it. Uh, there might be more. Uh, you could ask me questions. If I know the answer, I'll I'll I'll, I'll do my best to answer it for you. And uh, <clears throat> oh, let me show you. This is this is my my baby right here. I'm gonna turn this on. <clears throat> this is the Hartfeld Energizer I use. 
so that I don't get the flu. Uh, I never get the flu. And uh, wait, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to do this, All right? So uh, this is what I use. It, it has some of the things that we talked about, and, and it's not you know it's not designed to lift anything. Uh, but in any case, this here creates that that spark that I was telling you about, right? With the crystal, and does a bunch of other stuff. There's like six or seven facets to this that makes it work. And you're probably hearing whoop, 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 and that's kind of distracting. So let me hold it back a little bit as far as I can. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm the author of this book over here, Dr. Cures Cancer. That's the book in Russian there. And so if we hold it back so it's not distracting, some people notice a feeling of, of instant relaxation. And it does. It goes around the globe seven times. And you can't buy them right now. Uh, it's, it's difficult getting the parts. But you can. But this goes around the globe. This, you know, it goes through mountains, walls, and windows. So if you feel that this is relaxing, uh, I have a way by subscribing where you can have access to this to help you feel better. I use it, and I don't get the flu. I hug people with the flu. I can put my finger in my mouth. I can touch my nose. I can touch my ears. I can touch my eyes. I can do all that, and I don't get the flu. So that's pretty cool, right? And that's kind of important right now. So this is my, I think this is a, a crisis situation, and so I want to make sure that everybody has access to it, that, you know, that we can. And, and that way I can, you know, that will help fund me to get more of these so that people can actually purchase them in the future. So you take care, and God bless, and I'm going to find the, uh, the thing here to turn it, turn it off. Bye-bye.